Hi, my name is Avantika. I'm a sophomore here at ASU. I'm studying psychology and neuroscience through the Barrett the Honors College with a minor in Spanish and a certificate in cross-sector leadership. So I really enjoyed my psychology class in high school and I also really like biology. So I was thinking of ways I could combine those two elements in college. I want to go to med school so I knew I needed to take those pre-med courses as well. So I originally chose psychology as my major because it was something I'm super interested in. There's such a wide variety of ways you can go with it, with developmental psychology, cognitive psychology, lots to do there. And then my second semester, I added on that neuroscience major because I was really interested in the relationship between the mind and the body, how your emotions affect your body and how you're feeling, um, your biology, that kind of stuff. And so the combination of psychology and neuroscience has been really interesting to me, lots of fun classes. I'm a TA for Neuroscience 101 right now. Yeah, I think they both complement each other really well because I learned the anatomy and neuroscience and then in psychology I'm like, oh, this is what it's responsible for, this is what it does. So they kind of play off each other really well and something I learned in one class applies to the other class, which is really cool. So neuroscience has different branches of it. If you're interested in the computer science part of it, there's classes you can take for that. If you're interested in the biology, you can go that way. So I'm kind of focusing on the biology and psychology part of it because I do want to go into the medical field, but neuroscience can be applied to so many parts of your life and I think that's what makes it so special. Right now I think I want to be an OBGYN, focus on women's health, and part of a, a lab here at ASU which is um, focuses on cognition and memory based on sex differences and that's been really interesting. So I want to take that information and help other women out. I think it started when my grandma was diagnosed with al Alzheimer's. Um, that's when I kind of started researching the disease, seeing what's behind it, and then I started researching labs here at Arizona State that were looking into it. And then I found um, a really nice position with Dr. Heather Bemonte Nelson. I've really enjoyed working with the lab so far. We do a lot of work with rats and seeing how the ovaries affect sex and cognition, memory, stuff like that, sex differences, hormones. And so I think the driving factor was my grandma getting diagnosed, but then after that, I found how deep it really goes, and now I'm branching into the other parts of of cognition and memory as well. Because there's so little research done in that area right now, no one really knows what role the uterus has or the ovaries really do other than reproduction. But now all this research is coming out that no, it can help you with your memory and cognition and all of this as well. I got involved in that at the beginning of my freshman year. I was looking for nonprofit internships in the area and um, I started interning for them, giving presentations through the organization. I loved it so much. I knew that ASU needed something like this because there are so many students who want to help out and give back to the community and this is a perfect way of doing it. So I started it here and then since then we've been giving presentations about everything science and then empowering activities as well to teach lessons like courage and confidence, stuff like that, which is also important when you're pursuing a career in STEM. I think it's so important to start empowering people at a young age because that's when they're most impacted by the stuff that they see around them. So that's why I focus so much on elementary school students because this is the first time they're learning about STEM, they don't really know what it is. So if we get them excited at a young age, that's only gonna keep growing as they go through high school and college and all of that. So I think it's so important to impact them starting early and then it only grows from there. So like I mentioned before, Boundless Brilliance is a club we have here at ASU. We give science presentations to elementary school students. If anyone's interested in joining, they can go ahead and search Boundless Brilliance on ASU Think. No experience is required. We're looking for all sorts of people who are just interested in science. We have positions for our presentations team. So if you want to go into classrooms and give those presentations, we have openings on our outreach team to contact those schools and then also on our development team to develop the curriculum and materials that we will be presenting.